violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Jesus Riga is supposed to be just months away from graduating high school. That's where both he and his younger brother were trying to go this morning. Mm. We were out here waiting for the bus. Apparently, three assailants came from that corner over there. And as those three men got close to the dad and his sons, repeatedly yelling, asking if they were in a gang, Philip Riga says he got silently protective. Dang. So it looks like bruh got pressed up um, by cuz and them or whoever it is. I guess the GDs or VDs. I don't know what's going on in Chicago. But they got pressed, asked if they were banging, and it looks like they failed the test. All they do is gra grab my phone out of my pocket and call 911. And that's when they started shooting. Mm. Police say a single gunman in the group of three let off nearly 40 rounds. It was too many for Philip to cover both of his sons, both of whom live with special needs. Jesus Christ. So he got two special needs kids and the super gremlins aired out 40 bullets on his family. These super gremlins are on demon time. Three bullets hit Jesus. Mm. I was trying to tell him to get down, but... I mean, three for 40, that's not bad, okay? <laughs> that's not bad. I mean, these super gremlins are, I mean, honestly, damn near hitting less than 2% of uh, the rounds that they shot off. I, I feel like they'd just be shooting to shoot. But he, he didn't understand at the time, and I tried to get to him as fast as I could. As soon as they stopped shooting, I ran to him. And started holding the wound. The southwest side neighborhood has been plagued by rising gun violence. Chicago police data shows that in 2022, there were 93 shootings and homicides in the new city community area, which includes back of the yards. In 2021, it was about the same, but that's a 66% increase from 2019 when there were just 56 shootings and homicides. The alderman who represents the ward says constant gang warfare is terrorizing innocent residents like Jesus Riga. We cannot protect or give cover to these individuals who did this um, because this young man deserves better. I'm Nate Rogers live outside the Chicago Police Department's 9th District where a press conference just wrapped up moments ago. 15th Ward Alderman Raymond Lopez calling the shooting infuriating. Police say they believe that the shooters involved um, thought that the victim was a rival gang member. Now, right now that victim is undergoing surgery after being shot three times, including once in the head. He Dang, bro. They clapped him in the head. <sighs> the... F I mean, how much of a coward do you have to be to shoot a special needs person in cold blood? 21 years old, we're told, with special needs and was actually waiting at the bus stop with his 15-year-old sister who also has special needs and their father on their way to school right before these gunshots rang out. Now, it happened around 6.30 this morning at 51st and Damon. Police say between three and four offenders dressed in dark clothing fired multiple gunshots hitting the 21-year-old. Police say they likely thought that the offenders were rival gang members. Um, they likely thought the vendors excuse me, the victims were rival gang members because they heard the gang members shooting, sl shouting slogans right before the shooting. The victim. Okay, so they heard slogans being shouted and they just assumed that this man and his children were gang members. That's absolutely insane was immediately rushed to the hospital. Police say he had no gang ties. It is important to note that none of the family involved, the father nor the 15-year-old nor the 21-year-old victim have any gang affiliation whatsoever. Mm. 
And to Alderman Raymond Lopez saying this area of the back of the yards where the shooting happened has generations of gang issues. Chicago police told us they had heightened patrols over there already, especially after this has been the fourth shooting there in the last week or so. Um, police say right now there are no suspects in custody. They can fourth shooting in the last week, and this is 2023, and they are lighting it up. Continue to canvas the neighborhood, speaking with witnesses and neighbors to find some surveillance video that will hopefully lead them to the shooters. That is the latest here outside of the 9th District Police Station. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. Last hour or so, the alderman, Nate Rogers, outside of the Chicago Police Department's 9th District Station, where police just wrapped up a press conference within the last hour or so. The alderman of this ward calling a recent shooting here infuriating. Police saying they believe that the shooters thought the victim was a rival gang member. Now, right now, the victim is undergoing surgery after being shot three times, including once in the head. He's 21 years wow. old with special needs and was waiting at the best at the bus stop with his 15 year old sister and his father on the way to school. Wow. So he was with his sister who also has special needs. And this father was just trying to be a good dad. And as you guys can see, no good deed goes unpunished in the community. And if you run into these super gang banging gremlins on demon time, they are going to make you regret it when gunshots rang out. Now, the shooting happened around 6.30 this morning. Police say between three and four offenders dressed in dark clothing fired multiple shots at the 21-year-old. Police say the offenders likely saw the victims were rival gang members because they were heard shouting gang slogans right before the shooting. Mm. The victim was immediately rushed to the hospital. Police say he had no gang ties. It is important to note that None of the family involved, the father, nor the 15 year old, nor the 21 year old victim have any gang affiliation whatsoever. Alderman Raymond Lopez also at today's press conference saying this area of the back of the yards neighborhood where the shooting occurred has generations of gang issues. Police said they have increased police patrols in the area after four recent shootings there in the last week alone. Right now, they have no suspects in custody. Police are continuing to speak with no suspects and the community is completely silent on this matter. Residents and witnesses to locate surveillance video or any leads to who the gunman may be. That is the latest here outside of the 9th District Chicago Police Station. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. Mm. Yo, what's good, BGZM News 17 family? I'm at the corner of Jesse Jackson and Marcus Garvey, and I got some bad news for you. As you can see, I lost my job. I'm out here living in cardboard boxes, outside of boarded up vacant homes. YouTube said, I'm done getting money out here in these streets. They even took my funky ass suit. So anything right now would help. So go ahead and hit that Cash App, hit that PayPal, hit that GoFundMe. Hell, cop the merch. Or if you want to make the long-term commitment to the Jinquadius Jackson Fund, join the Patreon so that I can continue to put out top-notch content each and every day. Also, <laughs> check out the rumble where there is absolutely no censorship link in the description box below hey, yo, 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 yo. Ain't that, that, that nigga did Quavius? Yo, I recognize no that that's not me no anywhere. more hey, yo, run your pop Y'all do the opposite of Antonio Brown and take what all more do you want from me Judy this young man with disabilities remains here in the hospital Hospital after being shot three times yesterday morning, once in the head, waiting for his school bus. Today, his father and leaders in the community are calling on the community to put an end to this violence. Mm. He was sitting right there, and I couldn't get him in time, and the bullets just kept coming. While his 21-year-old son with disabilities fights for his life in the hospital, Philip Regup says he's angry. Furious. I mean. 
I really want to do something about it, but I don't want, I can't. Riga. Woo! When you heard him, he said he, 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 he want to spin the block. He wants to spin the block. And there are going to be more people like this who aren't going to have the mentality that, oh, I can't do anything about it. And they're going to start going into the community and just, you know, doing what they got to do to send a message. And I'm not saying it's right, but that's the point we're at now. The point of no return. Okay. The community has hopped over that line time and time again. Um, and people are fed up. He says he was holding one of his kids hand while his son Jesus was standing next to them as they waited for the school bus at 630 Wednesday morning. That's when he says three men began yelling at them, mistaking them for gang members and opened fire, mm. unleashing nearly 40 rounds. This violence has got to stop. I've been saying this for years over here. I've been living here all my life, but in this location, I've been here 15 years, and nothing, nothing like this ever happened to me. As a parent and with, with a kid with disability, uh, it hurts me. And I think some of these other parents should really think about it, because if it happens to you, then what happens? Oscar Contreras with the Back of the Yards Neighborhood Council says he's seen younger and younger children getting involved with the gangs. The groups terrorizing neighborhoods. He's calling on parents to step up, get involved, and for the community to engage with police. Mm. This is not okay. We have to understand, especially in the Hispanic community, we tend not to want to get involved. We, I, I seen it yesterday. You know, I seen it, oh, I don't want to get involved. You know, Yeah, <clears throat> people don't want to get involved because people, I mean, people are scared of the, the community and the backlash and, you know, being called, you know, racist or being called a Karen. I mean, a lot of people are just like, man, forget it. There's no point in helping. They don't, cause they don't want to help themselves. I don't want to say nothing. You know, I don't want to be part of it, but yet most of the people know. Most of the people know who is the problem child. Most of the people know that, hey, you know, my son is a gang member, but I'm in denial. You know, there's no relationship between the police and the- You heard him. Sisters, come get your kids. Okay, the sisters are protecting these 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 super gremlins out here, and they're enabling this bad behavior. Community, we're trying to build that. And so far, Riga has undergone surgery to remove bone fragments from his skull. His father tells me he's on oxygen right now to try to help him breathe. And doctors say he has a 50-50 chance of losing his sight and taste. Wow. We're live outside Stroger Hospital. Stephanie Wade, ABC. And dude, he's already special needs and now he's going to lose two more senses. These super gremlins are on demon time Seven eyewitness news rob back to you critical condition after a shooting in chicago's back of the yards neighborhood new details tonight police believe it was a case of mistaken identity cbs 2 sabrina franza spoke with the family we did and they do not know if that 21 year old will ever be able to see again because he was shot three times and once in the temple. He's alive this evening following an intense surgery this afternoon. A family member tells us he was waiting for the school bus this morning with his 15 year old brother and also his dad. This was on the 4700 mm. block of South Walcott. That's when a group of three to four people approached them and shouted at them to see if they were in a rival gang. Police confirmed neither the victim, his brother, brother who also has disabilities or his father have any gang affiliations. They did not want to be on camera, though, because they fear their safety. Family says at that point, the victim denied any gang affiliation. Someone tried to call 911. The father tried shielding his sons, but it was too late. The offenders started shooting anyway. The victim's mm. younger brother was not hurt in all of this, while police claim this is all part of an ongoing, long-standing gang conflict in the back of the yard's neighborhood. They would not say if they were looking into anything specific or any known gang members, but they they did say they were working off of multiple neighbor tips. Our information indicates it's likely the same gang, just not sure if it's the same 
actual gang members at this time. Police are also looking to connect this crime with another shooting that happened on the 4300 block of Southwood. Also today, just a few hours later, we'll keep you posted on that. As of right now, there are no arrests. We're outside the 9th Police District. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Mm -hmm. And an innocent victim of Chicago's violence, a man with special needs shot in the head while waiting for the bus. Police are saying the man and his family were mistaken for gang affiliates. Nate Rogers has the story. I, I just don't understand how you can <laughs> mistake a family for being a family like this, at least two special needs kids for being or having gang ties. It doesn't make any sense. Back of the yards, residents are indeed on edge as police say there's been an ongoing gang conflict in that area for some time. Police also telling us that the gunmen likely believed that the victims were rival gang members. I couldn't get to my son in time and he just got hit. This is 21-year-old Jesus Rega, all smiles and a lover of YouTube. No father should see his he said he loved YouTube, man. I wish, I wish, I wish would have watched my channel. Because then he would have known that these super gremlins are on demon time. Children shot like this. Rega was waiting with his father and 15-year-old brother for the school bus when police say three men standing across the street from their home began yelling gang slogans. Soon after, police say 39 gunshots were fired. They were shooting directly at me but they got him instead. Mm. So they thought you were the gang member, yes. you believe? Yes. The 21 year What the hell? That's crazy. Year old who is nonverbal was shot three times, including once in the head. It happened at 6.30 in the morning here at 47th and Walcott. It is important to note that none of the family involved, the father nor the 15 year old nor the 21 year old victim have any gang affiliation whatsoever. Mm. Police say they've increased patrols in the neighborhood for some time. They're now speaking with neighbors and combing through surveillance video to track down the gunman. This is the fourth shooting in the area in one week. 15th Ward Alderman Raymond Lopez calling the shooting infuriating. Back of the yards has generations of gang members. Grandfathers taught fathers, fathers taught sons and so on and so forth. This didn't happen overnight. Now, Jesus underwent surgery today. His father says, although he's now heavily sedated, he is in stable condition. Please tell us no suspects are in custody at this time. Outside the Chicago Police Department's 9th District, Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.